Hello, everybody. Hi, it's El Sonic. And welcome to another reaction video. In this, this reaction video, I'm checking out. I'm going to be reacting to a video called Multiverses Open Beta Update. Now, I've been hearing some things about this, or seeing a little bit of stuff about this, but I never actually saw much of anything. I just noticed some things about it. But, well, alright, well. I'm gonna just react to this video here first, and then I'm gonna totally see my thoughts about the whole situation and stuff about it, like, afterwards. So, yeah. Something like that. Too much. Yeah, I'll know until the end, towards the end of the video, after I see this video. So, I'm gonna react to it. Here it is. Boom. I'm gonna react to this and see what it is about and everything, because I have not seen it yet. And I guess I'll say my thoughts or whatever about, you know. Towards the end, after seeing the video, so. Alright, here we go. Let's begin. Yep, let's hit start. Here we go. Let's go. So I'm gonna check this out and see what Tony has to say about the game and everything. So, alright. So, yeah, hope you guys could pick off everything I was saying. Ugh, alright. Let's go. Start. Alright, Wonder Bros. News. There it is. Hi everyone, this is Tony from Player First Games. Hey, Tony. I'm here today on behalf of the entire Multiverses team to say thank you for your support mm -hmm. during our open beta. We've been excited to see the interest and enthusiasm from the community, and your right. feedback has been invaluable to us. We continue to be humbled by the awards the game has received, and mm. excited to see the enjoyment that Multiverses has brought to players. Oh. Throughout yeah. our open beta, yeah. we've been working hard to build the best gameplay experience, and we appreciate all the inspiration you've given mm. us. Our open beta has been an important learning opportunity for us, and a stepping mm -hmm. stone to the next phase of multiverses. Oh. We know there's still a lot of work to do. As a result, we have a mm -hmm. clear view of what we need to focus on, specifically the content cadence of new characters, maps, and modes to give you uh. more ways to enjoy the game. Along with an updated net code okay. and more matchmaking improvements, we'll also be reworking the oh. progression system based on your feedback okay. and looking at new ways for you to connect with your friends in the game. To oh. do this the right way, we'll be closing the multiverses okay. open beta 90 oh. days from today. As part oh. of this process, we'll be pausing updates and taking the game offline as we prepare for the launch of Multiverses, which oh. we're targeting for early 2024. I'm sure you're wondering okay. what this means for you. During uh -huh. this downtime, all online modes and features will be unavailable. Uh -huh. You'll have limited offline access to the training room, known as a lab, and local matches, along with access to your characters and cosmetic items within these modes. Oh. We do know that this news might be disappointing, but rest assured, Multiverses oh. will be okay. back. We'll also sure. ensure that all your progress and content will carry over when Multiverses returns next year. Okay. With a variety of new content, hmm. features, and modes. That's nice. Along the way, we'll be providing updates, so keep an eye on our social channels and website. Thank you hmm. again to the entire Multiverses community. All right. We greatly appreciate your passion and excitement and look forward to our next chapter with you. Thank hmm. you. Wow. Sure. Welcome. Wow. Okay. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's open beta, you know? Yeah, I mean, it says it's open beta when you start the game up. The game's not out yet. Why do people think the game is fully launched? Not launched yet. It's open beta. Yeah, right. What's the... Do a what's it called? It you said overhaul in the game, improve on everything. That's kind of what they do in a in a, a, right, a beta, right? The game hasn't fully launched yet. Yeah, a lot of stuff, a lot of features not not in the game yet. They want to release the oh yeah, launch it, close the beta, and open up the actual game. And they launch it early twenty twenty four. Like all right, okay, sure. That's fine. Okay, then. Yeah, I'm like, where do I begin with what I have to say about that? It's like, yeah, a lot of the things you said in there, it's like, yeah, I don't know. It's like, the game, yeah, well, it's not fully finished. Of course, a lot of the stuff they said, like he said, on the feedback from the people in the community, in the game, like kind of what they showed a little bit in there, yeah. Like, where do I begin? 
my own experience playing the game, it's just, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, for people who did enjoy the game, it's like, sure wish I had your experience. It's, I don't know, I mean, I guess I had some times where it's fun, but I kind of felt like it was hard to enjoy the game against other players. Like, like oh, it was just because of skill-based matchmaking. That the excuse that, that's like the excuse they give us is still loose matchmaking. I feel like it's not the matchmaking. It's just because the way the game is designed. It's like, at first I thought, oh, is this game like, just, oh, it's just nothing more than just another game that's trying to be competitive. Like all the other games out there that are, are trying to be competitive. And it's like, oh, it's hard to enjoy the game because it's competitive. It's like, no. Nah, you try playing a game and going through a losing streak and then telling me it's it's actually fun. It's like, God, the problem with skill base is it's so predictable. One side, I don't know how many times I've said this before, but it's not fun. I almost feel like games, like, dude, it doesn't matter to me if it's competitive or not. But the question is, is it fun? Is it actually enjoyable to when it's competitive? It's like, yeah, it's so many games I play out there that are competitive, it's like hard to enjoy the game because of the way it's just designed like that. Yeah, I guess it's hard to put in words. Um, but that's just my experience. It's like hard to, I guess it's hard to spread in words or something like an experience playing the game. Like, I'm genuinely sick and tired of finding myself just getting frustrated at a game and just yelling at the screen or something. It's just, so frustrating. It's not enjoyable. Like still playing the game. I shouldn't have to sit and play the game for hundreds and hundreds of hours to leave then enjoy it. It's just disgusting. Like, man, so many games. It's like I feel like the the I feel like the idea of the game being fun just what well, doesn't exist anymore with modern games today and everything. Because they're all being competitive. It's hard exactly Hard to enjoy the game because I remember him saying, Oh, uh, we want this game to be like for all kinds of players. It certainly doesn't seem that way when it just takes itself way too seriously with being competitive. But, ugh, I don't know. I find it hard to just play the game against other players. And it's like, kind of makes it feel like it doesn't motivate me to, to want to keep playing. It just, Oh, it kind of makes me feel discouraged to even bother, like, playing, because, oh, you know, you're just going to lose again and again, like every other match. You go off against someone who's just better than you. It's it's frustrating. It's not enjoyable. It's freaking hard to enjoy. It's like, what the frick? Again, it's like, oh, it doesn't seem like it's all about having fun at all. It's all about trying to beat someone, because it takes itself way too seriously. It's like, yeah, it's like, I don't know, that's just how the open data has been. But from a lot of what he said in the video, it sounds like he's trying to improve upon that, I guess. I don't know if he's kind of saying exactly what I just said. Ugh. I can't make up anything I just said. Excuse me for a sec. Eh, nothing, nothing there. Ugh. Mouth gets dry, it's hard to freaking say anything when my mouth is dry. Just something, insert, just whatever. So, yeah, I don't know. I haven't exactly had, I feel like when I started playing the game, it was fun and everything at first, and then after a while, it's just, wow, it's like, God, I guess it's hard to put in words, like literally hard. Either that or the words don't want to come to mind when we try to explain about it but i guess if you watch my previous videos of me playing multiverse you'll kind of see what i mean by it being frustrating it's like this skill base it's like god i think that's the problem with skill based and you think your only excuse for it is skill based matchmaking it's like no i still feel like skill based matchmaking is, is just a crappy idea it's like oh you're up against someone who Beats you and go, oh, no, strategy, strategy, and you can't win against them. That's the problem with skill base. It's, there's not a lot of variables. There's not a lot of different outcomes when it comes to skill base. It's you either win or you lose against this person who's up, you're up against. It's like, and it's like you lose enough games, they 
throw you against an opponent who doesn't serve much of a challenge to you, and it's like, doesn't feel like there's really much of any real challenge at all. Skill base is just predictable, unless you try to create more variables, more outcomes, more possible ways of how a player could beat another player, you know? Instead of just it being purely skill, maybe more open-ended possibilities on how a player could win. Instead of just only one way to win, because that's the problem with skill. What is skill exactly? It's how well you do something, and the more you do it, you think you'll get better at it. But I don't know, can you if you're going through what feels like a loop of torment, of loss after loss after loss, like, oh, you can't win, it's just frustrating. Um, God, I can't explain it. Literally can't explain my experience. Like, I'm, I see this not just with multiverses, I see this with a bunch of other games that I come across. It's like, doesn't motivate me to keep to want to keep playing it just god if anything it kind of feels like it just discourages you to even want to keep playing because oh you know you're probably just gonna lose anyway like why are you gonna try again like no it just makes me feel like i want to take a break from the game come back to it and go go play another game yeah and when i do that that's a completely other game is probably gonna have the same kind of experience because they all Takes themselves way too seriously with this whole competitive. Just, man. Doesn't matter to me whether it's competitive or not. It's, the question is, is it fun? That's the question. Man, I feel like I'm a tough time explaining from my experience, but you get from what he said in the video, all the feedback of trying to improve the game and everything. Yeah, they just want to close, close beta and then launch it. As out of the data. It's a beta, you know? Open beta. The game's not fully released yet. They want to close the beta and then when it releases, it, you know, better than ever, like you just said through the video, it kind of already saw and just made my thoughts about my experience with the game. Yeah, it's pretty much the same kind of experience I see with a bunch of other modern games out there is they're all competitive and it's like like i already said I, I feel like older games a lot older games i guess they're what i guess aren't competitive but i don't know what is, what is exactly that makes a game fun i feel like what makes a game fun just doesn't exist anymore like hard to find a game that's actually enjoyable without just simply being competitive it's like yeah, I can't even... Hey, you try going through and playing a game and going through a losing streak and telling me it's fun. It takes it way too seriously. These games are taking them way too, way too seriously. It's, a, it's like, oh, apparently it's not fun to play against other players. Well, oh, and it's like, I guess sometimes it is, like, when you, I guess, what, find a teammate and it somehow seems fun when you're playing with that teammate. Because it's 2v2 and not 1v1. Like, yeah, I mean, the idea of doing that, I guess I can see what they're going to do in there. It's been pretty fun doing that. You kind of see what I'm talking about from my past videos and me covering content on this game through its in game events, its seasonal events. As, that's what I do. I cover content on seasonal events, in game events. You know, seasonal. Like, they had a Valentine's Day event in there previously. I was wondering whether or not they're going to do a, anything for spring, St. Patrick's Day. I don't know. It doesn't look like it now after what they said, this open beta thing. They want to just take everything on our feedback of what we said, and they just want to try to improve the game from there. They, get, they want to just pick up from there and just make it even better from how it already is. It's like, all right, great. Can't wait to see how it turns out. Hopefully it is better than like, but then again, that's just my experience. And like, everyone's experience is different with the game. And like, anyone who out, out there who had a fun experience, well, gee, I sure wish I had your experience because I didn't exactly enjoy playing against other people. Like, wow, just frustrating. Ugh, I don't need someone telling me, oh, you just need to get good. I'm like, 
shouldn't have to get good to enjoy a game. Shouldn't have to enjoy a game to just be good. No, you shouldn't have to. It should be fun regardless whether you win or not. And apparently it's just frustrating and enjoyable. Yeah, I guess there's really no way to describe it or explain it. Oh my god. Like, I don't know, new tone, but I guess it does really matter because it's just my experience. In the end, everyone's experience is different. So I guess you had a fun time playing it then three, but I guess not everyone else does or did. But I don't know. And then when I tried playing against bots, like, oh, you can actually play against bots. Well, Okay, that's nice. Since it feels a little discouraging to play against other players, knowing I can't win against players I'm pitted up against, and yet you lose a couple of matches, like I already said, you're thrown up against an opponent that doesn't serve much of a challenge, like I said. That's why I feel like skill base is just matching it. It just seems like crap because of that. Because it's like you're up against someone that goes to good chance against because it, that's the problem with skill base it's so like i already said did i already say it already it's just yeah there's not a lot of variables there's not a lot of different outcomes when it comes to skill base it's how well you do something and it's like maybe you had more strategy skill is just one thing it's not everything it's just one thing you know it's one thing out of everything maybe you make it more open-ended and unpredictable you want to have the same outcome every single time but who knows who's better than who it's like i don't know just man honestly just you from my experience playing all these freaking games out there it's like makes me feel like man i genuinely wish i could make a game myself trying to improve the fun like my experience with what i dealt with at all these games is i just genuinely sick and tired of playing all these games out there where i find find it hard to enjoy because it just makes you feel like i want to take a break from the game and come back to it later because it's not fun when you go into a losing streak it just makes you feel like oh i just yeah it's like even when you're not playing it competitively it's kind of hard to enjoy it when you just go through something like quick play because they didn't have rank in this mode this game for a while because Oh, it's all, only open data. There's not really any rank mode until they did have rank mode. I never really even bothered or touched rank mode because, I don't know, I just feel like a game's not very fun when playing competitive. Even when there's no competitive mode, rank mode, it still feels like it's... Ugh. Disgusting. I can't... I feel like I really have a tough time putting words at times because... The words don't want to come to your mind. You only you know what you're trying to say. They don't just don't want to come to mind. And it's like you can't really say what you're trying to say. That's frustrating at times. Like, yeah, I guess I'm kind of just going on and on about it here. But he said he's just going to, like Tony said in the video, he wants to take our feedback. Well, feedback as in people in the community. I don't know if that includes what. People like me and just making videos. What am I saying? Ugh, I don't know. That's just... That didn't really come out how I wanted to try and say what I'm trying to say, but... I don't know. I guess the words don't want to come to mind. The words just don't want to come out of my mouth. The words that come to mind just... Ugh, I don't know. Just... Whatever. <sighs> I guess there's no way to explain it. Because it's just my own experience. Can't explain that. Just disgusting. Really disgusting. Sick and tired of playing every freaking game. I'm sick and tired of being frustrated when playing these freaking games. It's just so hard to enjoy. I just want to play a game and enjoy myself. But no, it's. This game almost feels like it's just another one of those games that takes people. Way too seriously by like, being competitive. It's like, yeah, when I started playing bots, it's like, oh, okay. Well, apparently, I guess it seems a bit, a bit, surprisingly, I find it more enjoyable when playing against bots than other, other players. It's like, ugh. I don't know. Again, I don't know. Just, 
what doesn't seem very challenging against bots. But at least I'm actually able to fight back. I'm actually able to play and do something in the game. It's guys, disgusting. I can't even put in words. A lot of games that even become like this. There's a lot of games that are. There's a lot of games that are like this. It's hard to hard to even enjoy games anymore. Like, like, expect to spend hundreds and hundreds of hours and leave the... I shouldn't have to spend hundreds and hundreds of hours to enjoy a game. I should be able to enjoy the game once I just pick it up and just start playing. Like, man. Just, I don't know. I guess I can't explain my thoughts of what I'm trying to say here anyway. I guess I really can't. Like, I don't know. This... Man. I hope the game does, like, turn out better than this from what I I hope it does turn out better than the way it, it was in open beta but yeah it did kind of like I don't know I felt like it was easier to get daily or daily missions in the game I felt like they were easier they were easier to get done when I started playing against bots because oh I felt like I couldn't get my dailies done at all because uh frustrating hard to enjoy when someone's beating you and you can't win it's like yeah that's a problem it should be fun regardless whether you win or not but ugh god disgusting not fun I can't find any other words to say with what I'm trying to say here it's frustrating oh god it's just yeah I don't know well I mean, yeah, you said what you said the the video. I just reacted here. All right, you know, whatever. I feel like I'm probably just dragging this on by me talking about my thoughts with the game and my experience. And he's just going to try it. Like Tony says, he's going to try and improve on the game with our feedback, the whole community's feedback. Of course, not anyone specific, but... I guess everyone all together, like whatever, you know, they improve on whatever feedback that they were given. I, you're not really, of course, just certain people or anything like that, but whatever, I guess what, you know, what you said, like everyone has said, eh, what are the chances of them coming across any live videos and being any, like, what? You, does anything I, I say count as feedback for the game? My experience, but everyone's experience is different. You know, I guess if some people did enjoy this game, then yeah, I guess I'm not one of those people who did. Not all the time. Sometimes I did enjoy it, sometimes I didn't. And you kind of see that. You know, why am I even explaining about my experience when you kind of see that for yourself from my previous videos on me playing this game? Just, yeah, I don't know why I found it more enjoyable playing against bots. <laughs> As you get dailies done against bots and playing against other players. It's like, that's not just with multiverses. You kind of see that with a bunch of other games that take themselves way too seriously with this whole skill base and this competitive. It's just, man. Ugh, doesn't matter how many hours I'm putting in the game, you're still gonna suck in the game. You're still gonna trouble against playing the game against other players. It's just, I don't know. That's just disgusting. It's not fun. Frustrating. I can't say anything else, so I guess I'm just gonna end it off here and just leave it as that, because apparently I'm having trouble when I'm struggling to say what I'm trying to say here, because I guess the words don't want to come to mind with what I'm trying to say. How many times have I said that? I don't know. I guess now I feel like I'm just repeating myself. Because I can't quite really say what I'm trying to say anymore about this game. But, eh, it was just open data, you know? Like, some people are thinking, oh, the game was dying. <laughs> it's just open data. You just said in the video, they're, they're going to launch the game and... Thanks for your feedback and everything you said you provided to help improve the game. Now they want to close data 
and they want to actually fully release the game, you know, when it comes out in early 2024. So, yeah, like, I do remember seeing what we saw in there, you know. It looked like you should have done what you want to improve upon for the, like, player progression and such. Yeah. Just, ugh, I don't know. I hope you were able to understand anything I said, because I feel like maybe some things you weren't able to understand what I'm saying. I feel like it's kind of almost hard to say what I'm trying to say. Like, ugh, enunciate-wise. There's nothing trying and it's hard to enunciate or speak clearly with what I'm saying. Sometimes I feel like, I don't know if you understood half of what I've even said, but, ugh, just, I don't know. I feel like I, I guess I'm just going on and on here, trying to say what I want to try to say here. But, yeah, I guess I'm kind of just talking about my experience with the game, but you kind of see that for yourself. Oh, I almost feel like I, I had this almost the same kind of experience in Brawlhalla, but not quite. I guess I could say in comparison, maybe I had a much better experience in multiverses than I ever had in Brawlhalla. Brawlhalla is crap compared to multiverses <laughs> in terms of my experience playing the game. Yeah, I guess that's something. I guess in like saying I had a better experience playing multiverses, I never had in Brawlhalla. Brawlhalla is not a game for everyone, apparently. And Tony, if I recall, he said he wanted to make this game for all kinds of players. All kinds of players. It seems like, oh, it's just only open beta and the game's not fully out yet, you know? And when they fully release it, hopefully it's better and, you know, enjoyable when it comes out. Yeah, you said that, like, what, the game will still kind of be there, but there's just some things you won't be able to do with the game until it's launched. And what you said there, I'm like, okay, all right, sure. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Gives me time to go play some other games instead of just one game. Like I said before, when you're losing streak and you're losing against people who are apparently better than you because they're... All these games are bent on you just being better than someone. It's like, you can't win, you lose, you can't have fun. It's like, you can only have fun when you win. It's disgusting. Now, you shouldn't, shouldn't have to win to be able to enjoy yourself. It should not have, shouldn't be frustrating, but they are. That's the problem with these games. If you've seen the online videos that I'm talking about, on how I get frustrated with these games, because that's my experience. No, I want you to see my experience. I want you to see that I'm frustrated. And I'm cussing at the game because I'm not cussing on purpose, just to be clear. It's called frustration. I, get, I guess when I get frustrated, I end up cussing. Like, it's just second nature. Like, what the frick? I don't even like it. I don't like it when I do that. I don't enjoy it when I do that. I don't like it when I get like that. But, ugh, the way these games are, it's like, Oh my god, this is not enjoyable. Unbelievable. The game should not be like that. The game is supposed to be enjoyable and fun, not frustrating. Like, you make someone, like, do you want to make the player yell at the screen, like, take their computer screen and throw it out the window? Like, what are you trying to do here? Like, why are freaking games like that? What the fuck, man? Come on, like, just... What? So many games, like, if you've seen, like, you know, you've seen all my other videos, you'll talk about all the games, like, I played, it's just, ugh, that kind of experience doesn't make me want to keep playing. It makes me want to take a break from the game and come back to it later. But even when you take a break and come back to it later, you're probably going to still end up with the same kind of crappy experience. Because they really expect to continue to keep playing, but, yeah. How can I keep playing even after that unenjoyable experience that makes me feel like I'm just stuck in limbo? Stuck in limbo of the same unenjoyable experience of loss after loss because people are just better than you. It's just disgusting. Even if you're not playing competitive, you're just playing 
quick play is the same shot experience. I don't know, that's just my experience anyway with you. But I guess if you had a better experience and you enjoy yourself, sure wish I had your experience. But I don't know. Just whatever. I feel like the modern games today are just not fun like the way they used to be. Like older games. Like, I don't know, maybe I should go back and play older games. Because maybe they were more fun than these newer games. Just, I don't know. Just, just me. Why? God. I think I know I said at one point already that I genuinely wish I could create a game myself to fix all the, the kind of experiences that I've been having with all these games. I would like to try and do something about it, but like, how? Where would I begin to go about doing that? Like, just, yeah. I didn't take, I didn't go to college for gaming classes for nothing to learn about game development, but like, was it even worth my time doing that? It's like, just, I don't know, was it a waste of time? I don't know. Like, where do I begin now? Ugh. What am I even saying? I don't know anymore. Just... I feel like I'm... I kind of feel like I'm mumbling half the time and that you're not thinking out every word I say. Sorry for that. Like, just... I don't know. So... Ugh. The same kind of experience I experienced with so many games. I almost feel like... This game is just another one of those games that take itself way too seriously on being competitive. Whether you play rank mode or not, it's still frustrating. Like, I see so many different games like this time and time again. Yeah, I genuinely think Multiverse is a lot more fun than Brawlhalla. But, I mean, I guess I had some moments where it's enjoyable. When you play against a certain player, it's like, yeah, there's no real way to communicate in this game yet, but that's because it's open data. I can see that it's open data. I notice some bug or whatever there, here and there, but it gets improved. Guess all I can say is, all right, guess can't wait till you come out with the game in early 2024 to see how it turns out after this open data. See how much is improved. The new changes. What new characters will we find in the game when it's released out of open data? Mm, what will we find? All right. Yeah, I feel like I just, I feel like I dragged this video on long enough about my thoughts. Because that's pretty much what it's been. After we reacted to it, I was just saying my thoughts throughout the rest of this whole video. That's what I've been doing. Or my thoughts about the new. Ugh. I feel like I have a hard time talking. My mouth is dry, so probably I've already said that. But yeah. Alright. Yeah, alright. Have, have I already said this? But whatever. I'm just going to end this off now. I think I believe I said that at one point, and I just still kept going. So yeah. Alright. Whatever. I don't know if anything I've said was even understandable of what I was trying to say anyway, but. Eh, yeah, that's just, I guess that's the same kind of experience I do with so many other games. And I guess I, I can only hope that once this game actually fully launches and releases when it comes out of open beta, I mean, excuse me, when it comes out, when it's fully launched after this open beta, it had those, yeah, hope the game is actually enjoyable. I thought this is only... Open data, they're gonna take our feedback with the new. I guess, does my videos count as feedback? What are the odds or chances of them coming across my videos and taking that as feedback? Oh, I'm yelling at a, I'm getting frustrated and playing the game. How do you take that as feedback and saying, just, yeah, that's not just this game. A lot of other games just seem to be like that. It's just, I don't like that, but, ugh. Whatever. All right. Anyways, yeah. I guess I'm. That's a. That's enough. I'm. I guess I'm done here. Trying to explain anything here.
I guess I'm just talking about my experience now, not necessarily just about this stuff or whatever, you know. <sighs> it's just, I don't know. I guess I can only wait and see, hope, hopefully to see how the game turns out when it comes out of When it comes out of like, you know, you know, excuse me, when it comes out like when it's fully launched, yeah, I hope it's actually enjoyable and not just another game that's, oh, and how it like experience was in the open data. Like, hope that experience changes. But anyway, don't get me wrong, it is fun doing doubles. The free, free for all, like, was fun. Yeah, I like free for all in there. That was fun. Definitely. I mean, I don't know if I had more fun playing against bots than other players or what. Because it's certainly easier to get your dailies done against the bots than real players. It's just, I don't know. And I feel like the battle pass, it's so difficult to make progress from the battle pass. It, it takes forever. It feels like. It doesn't feel like it's possible to finish the battle pass in time. Hence why they, I noticed they extended the deadline to finish the battle pass until March 31st. So, yeah, it's like, it's, and they guess that's the feedback they're going to take. They're going to try to, they're doing an overhaul in the game, I guess. Trying to improve the battle pass for what we said about it. It takes forever and doesn't seem easy to finish the battle pass, even for someone who, couldn't finish it in time and they were only able to start playing it even close to the last minute and it's just like i don't know i feel like even fortnite's battle pass it's a lot easier to finish that even when you play at the last minute you can still finish it like man the overwatch 2's like battle pass it's like not possible to even finish it not everyone has time to play the game all the time and then try and finish the battle pass before season's over. It's like, man, I hope you guys don't really pull a FOMO and don't give us a chance to actually try and... It's like, oh, if you never finish the battle pass, then you missed your chance. You don't get a chance to get whatever was in the battle pass. I'm like, it kind of looked like you were making it to where, oh, if you didn't get in the battle pass, you can buy it in the shop. It looked like that's what you were doing. Yeah, it's like, so even if we didn't get it in the battle pass, I guess we could still obtain it somehow, like through the shop or something. Like maybe create some kind of challenge for us to still be able to unlock something because we couldn't unlock it in time since it took takes forever to try and finish the battle pass. Considering that's why you extended it to March thirty first. Like, a lot of people couldn't finish their time. Like, man, make it a lot more possible. You're like, oh, you make it to where, oh, we just buy tears to get through the battle pass. I guess that's one way of doing it. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I don't know why I'm still talking about this. I said I was going to end this off, but all right. I guess I need it for real this time. Like, yeah, I guess there's nothing else I can really say. But I'm trying to say a lot about it and stuff in there. This game. All right, I don't want to drag the sun any longer. So, okay. I need to say my thoughts about the game. And even after just seeing this open data closed, it's going to close and they're going to reopen it. And once it closes in June and it reopens in 2024. So, all right. I guess I can't wait to see how it turns out when it comes out. So, yeah, everyone's experience is different when playing a game, but that's mine. Jeez, why is it you get to have fun, but I don't? Oh, because you suck and you, can't, you don't get to have fun. Disgusting. That's, that's a polarizing experience. Why should he get to have fun just because he beat me and I don't get to have any fun? It's like, ugh, I don't know. That's 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 how competitive games are in this era when they all become competitive. It's hard to enjoy them. 
when you lose, it's kind of hard to enjoy it. That's only fun when you win. That's. No, 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 that's disgusting. That's not right. But that's what I feel like I experience in so many different games out there. But like I said, I should have to spend hundreds of hours uh, trying to enjoy it. But alright, I mean. Anyway, yeah. Like, for real this time. That's it for this video. Like, I'm, I'm just really trying to. I'm, I feel like I'm just really trying to explain my thoughts. I'm just trying to tell them this and such. But, alright. Yeah. That's it for this video. Be reacting to this update trailer and then just tell them my thoughts about the game and, you know, whatever with it. So, yeah, I guess I feel like I did the best I could to say what I was trying to say. Hopefully... You were able to understand half of anything I said. Just, I feel like I was having a rough time saying anything. Like if I wasn't enunciating. Just, ugh, I don't know. So, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that's it for this video. Me reacting to this video. And, and I thought, saying my thoughts about the game and this whole thing here. And like, if I did say anything of that well, one last thing I don't remember anymore and I don't make it up there so I guess I'll just wait until 2024 when it, or early 2024 and I'll see when it comes out again see, see the finished product the finished game because this was only open beta the game's not even fully out yet so yeah I mean, that's what open beta means you know everyone has access to the game now that Open beta is over. They're gonna now fully launch it in 2024. I guess like, we'll get to see how it turns out. No, I mean I had some moments where the game was fun. There's no denying about that. But I also felt like there's a lot of times where I wasn't enjoying myself against other players. Saying that oh because of matchmaking, I feel like it's not not just matchmaking. It's also with how the game is designed, if you ask me. And I feel like I tried to explain that at one point. But I don't want to try and go on and on here. I feel like I'm just going on. I feel like I'm trying to end the video here. And I'm also kind of just going on and on here. I'm not trying to. Because I also kind of feel like there's things I really, really want to say here. But I also feel like I can't say what I'm really trying to say here. Like I'm having a tough time. Just... I don't know, hope you can understand everything I was trying to say, but anyway, yeah, so, all right, well, yeah, come on, when I'm trying to close this off here, how would I close this off, like, really, this, I don't know, well, anyways, yeah, that's it, like, really, I don't know, how many times I'm going to say that, but seriously, yeah, I'm just trying to say what I'm trying to say. It's like I'm just saying whatever comes to mind because some words just don't want to come to mind with you know, what I'm trying to say at all. So that's it for me reacting. Like, I don't know how many times have I said that already to this multiverse is open beta update and saying my thoughts about the game or after seeing this video about it. It's like, okay, see you in 2024. Even though it seems like the game, he said the game will still be there. It's just some things will be offline and such. Like, alright. Okay. You're in the early 2024 when it comes out. After you take an hour, he's going to take our feedback and try to improve the game. They get better than ever from there. After everything we, you know, the community, whatever said about the game. All our feedback. Or what anyone said about the game. So, yeah, right. So, Alex, shut up. Time to end this video now. Okay, for reals. I'm sick. Enough. Right. So, anyway, yes, I mean, that's it for this reaction video. For real now. Seriously. 
like I can't even, it, like, am I having trouble trying to end this off now? Like, what the heck? Ugh. You know, I kind of hate saying some, ugh, this at the end of the video, so I guess I'll just say this real short. Ugh. This, I hate saying this part. I know I kind of really hate saying this part of the video. I kind of hate saying the outro and everything. It's just, ugh. I don't know, I hate saying this part, but I really need to even bother saying this part at the end of the video. It's like, ugh, I don't know, ugh. You know, what? Can I not even say what I'm trying to say? I can't find the words anymore. What? I mean, what is with me not able to say what I'm trying to say right now? I don't even know. We're just... Some words don't want to come to mind. Feels like half of this video just turned into a vlog instead of just a reaction video. Yeah, me and Tom trying to say my thoughts about my experience with the game and after what I saw here in the open data. Like, okay, great. See you later then when it comes out. I'm like, alright, sure. Like, yeah, I don't know what to say in response. Other than my experience with the game. But, I don't know how that's really gonna help. Eh, I don't know. Just one person out of the hundreds of other people out there, too. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, why? Just, anyway, yeah, who, uh, Wow, I literally can't even find what I'm even trying to say right now. This is annoying. Literally annoying. Ugh. Man, I mean... I don't know. Alright, well, I mean... If you want... You can let me know whether or not... Well, I, I ain't saying this. This part of the video. Genuinely, I don't like saying this, but... You know... Uh, yeah, if you want, uh, let me know whether or not you like the video, hit the like button, whatever. You know, whether you like it or not. Ugh, I don't like saying this at the end of the video, but do I have to say it? Do I really miss it? I know I kind of said it at one, one point already. I don't know. I, mean, I guess if you want to see more content like this from me or any of my other, other videos, like reaction videos, you want to see me do more reaction videos or the other content I create on my channel, then uh, you could subscribe if you want to. I hate saying this at the end of the video, do I really need to? Like, I don't know. Why? Why even bother saying this at the end of the video? If you're someone who's not new to my channel, you know, do I really need to say this every time that the end of my videos if you're not new to my channel, you know? You thought they just end the video off and don't even watch this part. Yeah, like I'm, I'm genuinely sick and tired of saying that at the end of my videos. But I don't know, if you'd like to see more, then you can subscribe. Totally up to you. Of course, it's not up to me. I don't have any control on whether you choose to subscribe or not. If you want to see more of my videos or not, whether you like this or not. But, eh, yeah. So, I just keep making these because I like making these. I mean, eh. Yeah, I don't exactly have a target audience, because, well, you know, you grow up outcast, I mean, excuse me, you grow up underappreciated and degraded, you kind of just stop caring about other people's approval and such, so it's like, I'm not, who am I making these videos for? I'm kind of just making them for myself, I guess, because I'm not really trying to make anything for anyone, because at the end of the day, I mean, these videos aren't for kids, and they're not for adults. They're not really for anybody. I'm not trying to make anything for anyone. I'm just making something that, like, I just want to... No, I just make them... I guess I just like making videos. The more I think about it, yeah, I'm just doing this because I like doing it. Or I guess it's hard to explain why else I'm really doing this at the moment, really. But I like, want to see more. My other video, other oh, videos, or you want to more from me? Yeah, subscribe if you want to see more. I'm totally up to you. 
Yeah, whatever. God, I feel so weird. I can't even say what I'm doing. I'm trying to say, say anymore. Ugh, yeah. Whatever. This is kind of a part vlog, I guess. Yeah. I don't do this a whole lot because I feel like there's not much of anything else to say other than what I've already said and covered in my previous vlogs. Just, yeah. I'm having a tough time saying anything right now because I feel like anything I'm trying to say is not coming to mind. Like, I can't find any words at all with what I'm literally trying to say. Seriously. But, eh, you know, blah, 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 you know, bell notification, or social media in the description down below. You want to keep up everything and not miss a thing. Yeah, 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 you know, whatever. If you want to. I hate saying that at the end of the video. Like, in the bar, just end the video and forget it. Just, eh, yeah. I don't know, I'm just, whatever. So, anyway, yeah, what the, what the heck. Yeah, I'm just, ugh, alright, yeah. So, whatever. <laughs> yeah. I do feel like I'm kind of just going on and on here, just saying my thoughts about stuff here with multiverses, or I guess games in today in general, how they've all become competitive and they're hard to enjoy. Ugh, hard to find a game that's actually enjoyable nowadays without the game actually taking itself way too seriously. That's what it feels like. But anyway, that's it for this video. You know, do what you want. I guess you're new to my channel. I mean, you did watch this far in the video. I guess all I can say is thanks for watching this far in the video. Really? I mean, to those who have been sent to my channel for since for whoever, how long you've been sent to my channel. I mean, thanks. Really. Don't know how else to put it or say it. I mean, Really, it's like I still can't believe I have this many people subscribed to my channel. Just, yeah, I don't know how to, what else to say about it. I can't find any words to, to really explain to say about it, but really, thanks. But anyway, yeah, you know, like always or whatever. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And with that said, you know, <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. Yep. Well, see you next time. Yep. Bye. Oh, what the fix wrong with my voice today? I feel like I'm, I don't know if my voice is cracking or not. I feel like I'm having a hard time talking. But yeah, bye. What do I have to say? Like, bye. Like, ah, whatever. You know, just, woo. Ha <laughs> ha. Like, ah,